So let's talk about here. So we go doing photo book Friday, and today the first one we're going to talk about Mark Selinger and his book Mark Selinger Photographs. Uh, Mark Selinger, well-known portrait photographer in the editorial and commercial space. I'm a big fan of him. I first learned about him um, in GQ magazines. When this book goes over, basically, you know, his entire career working with GQ, working with you know, various publications for Condé Nast, and also being the chief photographer for Rolling Stone. Can't see the full thing because this is a library checkout, and it was from another library, so the cover is covered, but I do have that here, you'll see it in the book. But I'm just kind of going over on some of the ones that got my attention. I'm not gonna just flip through the whole book. <laughs> Check out your local library if you can't afford it, like I can't. <laughs> I might just on this, you know, had a lot of good stuff in there. This might actually end up being a, an eventual cop, though. So, um, well, let's talk about, let's go ahead and flip into the book and get into it. So, uh, this is, uh, you know, obviously Kurt Cobain. Well, I can't say obviously, depending on how old you are. You may not know what he looks like. He's been dead for a long time. But uh, this this photo, the layers, you has got the, the baby head in front to provide some depth. The texture, I'm a huge fan of shadow and texture. So you see the texture right here on this little blanket, texture from the leaves, his hair, he's got the bright blue eyes, which matches the eyes of a doll. This is amazing. So I had to cover this one up because it's a new and I'm not trying to get in trouble on YouTube here. I, I know there's some weird rules here, but whatever. But I want to focus on this portrait right here. Like I said, I've going through this has actually kind of helped me put into words my style. And like for me, I'm all about shadow and texture. So him using the shadows here, coming down to cut off, puts a highlight on his face, really darkens out his clothes. You can put it's still detail there. You can actually study that. I'm so, you know, I may not be able to see it very well with the camera. But you can still see it there. You can see the texture on the wood. You can see the texture on the walls, the, the paint peeling up, all that stuff. I think it's super dope. We got David Bowie here. I think it's just a uh, cool how you fill up the frame. And again, you can see like all like everything. And um, I, one of the main things about using depth of field is yes, you want that bokeh, but I feel like a lot of people are trying to get like the most blown out bokeh ever. You want bokeh, but you also want the photo to be in context. So yes, everything is, you know, you got a good depth of field, everything is out of focus, but I can tell that's a diner. I see the things that point to me to say this is a diner, and therefore it's not distracting because it's out of focus, but it provides context to the photo. I hope I do that. So this photo is dope. You can see uh, like just all the leading lines from everything on the piano, plus the reflection up here. He's framed in the window. He's framed in the, the piano. Like there's so there's like frames within frames within frames. Like this is. And then the subject matter himself, fantastic. The hair, the texture, the sharp lines from the piano. Like this. I'm, I'm sad I couldn't fit the whole page. If you grew up in the 90s and you are, you know, of the hip hop, you know, culture, like just this photo right here on the left. I mean, this photo on Wayne is, is dope too. But the photo on the left, Diddy and Shine, after everything that happened to him and Shine, you know, rocking the traditional Jewish uh, clothing and haircut and everything. And Diddy doing whatever the hell he's wearing. <laughs> but just, I'm sure this is medium format, uh, probably film. And just the details that you get from here, from the texture of that Diddy's jacket. You could uh, shine scarf. Um, like, man, fucking Diddy's ring. <laughs> like, that's wild. Ooh, okay, so this one right here is really dope. Uh, just a side portrait of Willie Nelson. But again, just a shadow and a texture. You get the lighting on the face, get some here, but the eyes are still darkened, which I think is like a cool stylistic choice. I want to be something I do all the time because a lot of times you want to focus on the eyes, but this is pretty cool. You can see that. And then just like the fall off on the face as it goes darker. 
and he looks like really introspective, but this is just a dope portrait. The spread is just, detail shots are cool. So this spread right here, it's kind of like you go wide and you go detailed. That's pretty cool, pretty standard. But just this detail shot is really awesome. But this is the photo that I wanted to talk about. Jeff Bridges, can Jeff Bridges make a bad photo? But just, he filled the frame with the truck. Lines leading here to Jeff Bridges. Lines leading to his hands. That kind of puts focus on his hands. Like again, we got some bokeh here. Like this still provides context in the way, like just just being a full spread. Like, man, yeah. Mark Cylinder, one of the goats. What do we got next? I'm sorry, this is here. Oh yes. So Mark Cylinder is Jewish. So this is, you know, black and white kind of brings out that texture in general. I feel like you should shoot more black and white, but you can see everyone's uh, Auschwitz are, not necessarily Auschwitz, but you know, Holocaust are tattoos. This is just weird. I like it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Eddie Murphy here with the close-ups. If it looks like it could be a white, I don't know, when it comes to media format, but it looks like his head is kind of, like he's using that distortion. And it looks like, yeah, it's like kind of like that one, hey, this is when I first met my man, who is this white man? Shaking my photo to, you know, this dude's funny. <laughs> like just a transformation in one session. It's dope. Like I said, Jen, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges, that's not thing. Okay, just making sure he's just smoking. This, this photo, this is the thing that might be my favorite in the book right here. It's just so cluttered, everything's happening, but the light from the window is beautiful, the windows are blown out, but it's nothing, like, you know, it's not so, it's not blown out to the point where it's distracting. He's got light fall on his face right here, making the eyes shine, getting the cap, the catch light there. A little bit of shadow here, they get texture everywhere. Just magnificent. That's why he's a dude. Alright, so we're gonna come to the end here. Um hopefully this ends up working out okay. <laughs> this is the first one uh, here, but you see Denzel, very simple portrait overall. Um, using the depth of field, eyes out of eyes in focus, face in focus, nose kind of out of focus. But you can see again, shadows and texture, the lighting, shadows on this light, flag over here, but still well exposed on this side. The textures of the hand, everything really dope. Peter Dinklage on a horse. <laughs> This one right here though, wow. Just the scope for everything. Like it makes me want to shoot with my 28 more. Panning shot of Brad Pitt because, I mean, it looks cool. And then after that, that's how we end the book. With Obama's back. I hope this is interesting to somebody. I'm gonna try to, you know, work this out and figure out how we want this to go going forward. Uh, if you peep to the end, appreciate you. Peace.